Well there you go everybody, back again. Looks like it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. It's uh, liver and bacon. So we get the old classic stuff. I like to shear mine off in the pan first of all. Dust it with a bit of flour, put it in there, burn it off. Obviously while that's doing, we'll sweat some onions off in another pan. Put them together. A bit of water. Cut the bacon up. You'll love it. Right, first things first. is to be prepared with the utensils. Just split some onions up a bit quicker. Really. Put that to one side. We'll get the uh, the liver and the bacon out of the fridge. Doesn't matter what it is. Just a bit of um, vegetable oil, nothing special. Don't want too much of that. Bit of a rinse. See that there, what we're doing. We're basically, just rinse it out in cool water just to wash off the excess blood. Okay. Once we do that, we'll uh, dip it in flour and fresh fry it. these tough bits because uh, it's where the veins are makes me a little bit chewy I particularly don't want them myself so I'll just cut them out it doesn't take long See what we're doing there. Just 
Yeah, I think that'll do. That's better. So we just cut that into manageable pieces. If you see the bits you don't like, just cut it out. That's, a, that's definitely an unusual piece that is, isn't it? Doesn't normally come like that. Actually cuts quite well, you can see there's a little bit of muscle there. As with all things to do with food, once you finish messing about with like raw meat, it's in there, hot water, and what you really need is um Oh, just turn that down a second. Yes, a bit. You need a sort of a bacterial cleaner, really. A bit like uh, washing up liquid and uh, a bacterial side to kill the germs. Obviously, wood is um, self cleaning, but uh, it doesn't help to give it a bit of a hand because the worst thing you do, I mean, if I touch the, the cabinets here now, I'm transferring all this, all the germs all over the kitchen. So you've got to be really careful with this sort of stuff. Them bits there don't even need cutting, they're, they're just about right. So we separate the, the, the veins and stuff from that. This is the bag. Just pop it in there. This just, just coats the, um, the liver in flour really, I mean that's the way I like to do it. We're going to cut the bacon up in a minute as well. Oh, so that's that bit virtually prepared, okay? Plate. Right, so I'll put that on there. I'm going to clear this away. I'm going to clean that worktop there and this bolt. contaminating anything else around the house. So you get it cleaned up before you carry on to your next stage. You definitely don't want cross contamination between uh, meat, vegetables and stuff like that. Obviously your materials, utensils you've been using. Okay, well 
that's that's pretty good, I think. All right, we can carry on to the next stage. Now I'm gonna put another pan down. I'm not gonna sweat off some onions in this while the liver is cooking in that way. So let's get it on. Different wooden ball. Now this, this dish is going to take about 25 minutes to cook. Once we get all the ingredients together. So you've got plenty of time to sit down afterwards. Pinned onions before you know what it's like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, there we go. I mean, I could stand here and slice them if you want. No, but, uh, I'm going to basically just cheat. And uh, I've got to use that machine over there. nearly ready. I'll transfer them into a bowl and then back into into a cup. No. I mean the onions really just for, oh yeah, make me honest there, just for flavour. 
you know you don't want you don't want big chunks of the hard skin in so we'll take them couple of bits out which never got blitzed good nice deal that just turn this one up Obviously this here can, uh, this will go down the allotment as uh, compost. As that's vegetables I've just cut off, I've only just rinsed and spooled off now. Okay. It's only onion, I'm not too worried about that, but I will give it a sanitise as well. Yep, look at that, that's smoking. Yep, okay, ready to put in. Once again, I'll be touching raw meat, so we'll have to wash our hands afterwards. You see how the, um, the flour appears to the uh, liver there, it makes it a lot drier. Soaks up all the excess blood. And we basically shear them off or sear them off both sides. And then when we're ready, we'll get some boiling water and some gravy powder and, and just like put them together. When the onions are ready, add them and uh, hey presto, you just leave it to simmer for 25 30 minutes maybe. You put yourself liver and bacon. Right. Bacon then, time for cream now. Okay, that's sort of what it looks like. Yeah, see it's in there. See it's shearing already. So it doesn't take long. The uh, the onions there. A little bit of a stir. We basically want to put these to soften right up, just because they give a nice bit of flavour to this dish. Okay, then they're getting there. Got a bit of a piece there. I'll take that out later. Okay. Now remember, we're dealing with raw meat here, so. Obviously these will need to be really washed well, you know, more than 60 degrees and over. Just like you normally would anyway. If you've got a dishwasher, that's plenty hot enough to kill any, any germs which might be lurking around. Well they're coming on pretty well actually, see that it's uh, sort of sheer on both sides. It's seasoning in the flavours, but also seasoning the juices in, makes them really tender. Our onions are nearly ready. Right. Over there, we'll pour the water. Now the bacon. I mean, we've only had onions on here, so we can do this part of the cream now. I'll be putting them in in a little bottle because this this will only take you know 10 minutes to cook, whereas the liver takes 20 odd minutes plus 25 really. Okay, we need 
it all seems a bit of a rush at the moment, but once we combine everything together, there's nothing to do but let it cook. So we can do all the sizing up, sanitise all the surfaces, get the potatoes on, because they've got to be peeled. You know, but we've got lots of time then. Once this dish is together, we'll be fine. Nearly finished shearing it off. I mean, this is the way I cook it. There's, there's lots of different ways of cooking liver and bacon, but I like it this way. And Ollie likes it this way as well. She says, you know, all these years, and I never know you could cook. <laughs> well, I was chased out of the kitchen years ago. <laughs> when I was interfering, you see. Right, okay, let's, you see what that's, that's, that's pretty much done now. Right, so, that's virtually ready. We want some uh, baby granules, doesn't matter which brand you use. Okay, now you might want to... Yeah, we'll just move over here and that's okay so we're going to be putting our onions in and our uh, gravy drainers and the ball tool into that pan okay see how they're sort of browned off now then they've still got another 20 minutes to cook yet so Right, okay, one more pan for the wash. Excuse me, sorry about that, wiping my nose. Wash my hands. Okay, right, cat was boiled. Just do this. When that bubbles like that, you know it's hot enough and it's ready. So, I'll just shake in the gravy granules. And when I think it's thick enough, which is around about, I suppose, four tablespoons full. I have not actually guessed it, but you could put about four tablespoons full. Because uh, there's quite a big pan. Uh, a little bit more water needed in there. Remember this is going to be cooking for something like 25 minutes, so most of this moisture will evaporate. You can just smell that cooking time, that is going to be mwah. Oh, not making a mess of the cooker. Now I quite like traditional food, like you know, liver and onions, sausage and mass, jelly deals, all the good stuff. And I suppose most people my age, and that's what we're used to eating, really. Our grandchildren, what? Do you, I mean, they wouldn't eat this. Doesn't come in a burger. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's going to be fine. So I'm just going to turn that down now. Okay, you don't want it boring its head off for the next 20 minutes because like, it'll be a disaster. Okay, just let that simmer a bit. Well, 20 minutes later, we'll come back to that. That'll be cooked. Gives us time to do the potatoes. If you want a bit of extra vegetables, you can do that as well. We've got a bit of cauliflower. I've got them Brussels sprouts I've got from the oven today, I could use them. And, but while that's cooking, we'll, we'll clean the kitchen up. Uh, in about another five or ten minutes, I'll cut the bacon up and put that in, because this is going to take no time to cook. Then, we'll see you further down. I'll turn the video off for there, because it's 
it's broad as anything watching the pan boil. And when I come to do a bit more, or maybe even a dish it up stage, I'll give you a shout. Thanks a lot. Bye then.